Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day eight of the October League Code Daily Challenge. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's poem, Binary Search, which is actually what it sounds like. Uh, yeah, so I mean, I think with this problem, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, I mean, it is what it sounds like. I don't think there's any... So I think definitely um, binary search is very fundamental. It gets asked on interviews all the time, shows up in competitive program all the time. So practice it as much as you can. Uh, I think there's also libraries for this for obvious reasons. Uh, like, you know, in C++ or Python or Java, they all have languages or they all have libraries that could do this for you directly. Uh, but I'm going to try to write it out as practice because I still get off by once sometimes uh so yeah so that's what i'm gonna do uh yeah right right we want this to be inclusive so we set this to you go to this and then while left is left right um i always write it this way give or take sometimes i mean actually that's not true but, but I, I always know how to uh fact uh change it a little bit so okay then if num submit, so what what happens if num submit? Right? Well, if you, you don't always need to do this, but I like to do it this way sometimes. If num is equal to target, then we just return mid, right? And l else if num to mid is greater than target, um, so if it's if mid is greater than your target, that means that uh your answer is on. On the side that is the smaller side, which is from left to mid, right? So, and if your new segment is now left to mid, your right is now you go to mid. Um, and then, um, in the same way, actually, this should be right as you go to mid minus one because we want to do it inclusive, and we know that it cannot be mid because, uh, because of, oh, what did I do? Because of uh, the statement on line eleven, right? So. And then otherwise left is equal to mid plus one. I think that's pretty much it. Uh, this converges if left is less than uh, or if left is equal to right. Uh, we just have to check one more case where if num sub left is not equal to target, we return negative one. I'm also just thinking of um, what is a cleaner way of doing it as well, um, only because. Yeah, there, there are a couple of conventions that you could have gone up there. You could because we started from zero to n minus one, and then we checked the target. Uh, but you could have also, well, you still needed to check. But you could have also, um, like in theory, the number could be left of all the target, uh, and the number could be right of all the numbers, right? And depending on what you're using your binary search for, some of them may make more sense. Uh, but for this one, I think it doesn't matter. So, um, so I'm gonna do it that way. Let me copy and paste a few more examples or just one more example at least uh and then maybe just you know uh a really lazy exhaustive thing just making sure that we get every one of these uh which i have confidence that i have uh yeah and we have to return the index I actually forgot we we're supposed to return the index so, okay looks good let's hit a submit um i still keep my finger crossed about this sometimes uh though I, and also, I forgot to check for n is equal to zero, or I forgot both to either check for n is equal to zero or at least check the constraints or oops. But uh, it seems okay. Uh, yeah, so this is very straightforward binary search. Uh, I actually, I, I know that a lot of people advocate like memorizing a pattern and getting familiar with it. Uh, I actually don't generally. I just, uh, I go by a couple of, I, I ask myself a couple of questions and then my code reflects what I want, right? And I could go over it briefly, which is that, okay, I set my left and right. I ask myself, do I want, usually I keep the left uh, inclusive no matter what. So I always set to zero, uh, though sometimes maybe not, but 99% of the time. And then I ask myself whether the right boundary should be inclusive or exclusive. If it's inclusive, then uh, when left is equal to right, then you're, your range is of one number, so that's why the con conditions are like this. Uh, if it's exclusive, then uh, you might do something like this, right? Uh, so that's how I came up with it. Um, and then here, uh, you, you actually heard me kind of go through it directly. 
uh, because it's inclusive and we know that it cannot be mid, the right goes to mid minus one. Uh, similar for left is equal to mid plus one. I don't always have this target, so it depends on how you ask the question and whether it's like the first equal or whatever. Um, but you could kind of talk through the logic of how to uh, handle the equal case. Right? In this case, we just went handle the mid. Because uh, sometimes for the equal case, you want to move to the left and sometimes for the equal case, you want to move to the right. And that depends on how you ask the question. And, and beyond that, depending on how we ask the question, uh, we, I, I take a look at whether uh, the convergence, like whether it converges. Um, usually, uh, well, this one's a little bit weird to point out, but uh, sometimes I would write this if, um, if, uh, if, it, if left is equal to mid instead of mid plus one. It's a little bit hand wavy. I don't want to go over it too much. I think this actually still works in this particular case uh, because Again, this usually only comes up when uh, on the, on the edge of condition. So in this case, it doesn't matter because we use both. Uh, yeah, uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, that's how I did this problem. Uh, it's clearly log n in the in the size of the input, and I have over one space. Uh, so yeah, uh, let me know what you think. Well. Yeah, let me know what you think. I mean, I guess depending on your language, getting the length could be O of n, but I, but I'm gonna assume that we have an O of one length thingy. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, uh, that's all I have for this problem. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, binary search again are very fundamental, so definitely practice it. Like I know that the libraries for this, but you know, anytime you get a practice, you you know, why not? Uh, that's all I have. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye-bye.